Hey, what's going on, guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Got a tech video for you guys since it is Tuesday. Um, the big question I seem to be getting right now is what are those black and white wheels spinning next to uh, John and my legs? Those are the elevator trim wheels. Uh, trim is what alleviates the excess force on the yoke. Uh, a lot of times when the airspeed changes, we need to use more or less force to maintain a climb or, or a descent or whatever the case may be. So we use that trim to alleviate that extra force. Let me show you what they, they uh, look like. This right here is the wheel I'm talking about. There it's spinning. If you move over here to John's side, he has the same exact thing. They work in sync, so they're always doing the same exact thing. This switch right here on the yoke is what uh, we use to activate it. You notice it's a two-part switch. It's got a left half and a right half. If you, if you just move one half at a time, nothing happens. But if you push both of them, look at there, it spins. Pretty easy. Um, they do that split switch as a safety feature. If one half were to stick in the up or down position, it won't let the uh, trim run away. I guess it happened early on in, in aviation where it was just a, a one-piece switch and all of a sudden the, the switch would stick down and the airplane would just push over into a nose dive and you couldn't pull hard enough to, to fight it off. So the airplane would crash into the ground. Or vice versa, it could pitch up and all of a sudden you can't control it from climbing, the airplane stalls, bad things happen. So that's the switch. Also, the autopilot uses the uh, trim as well in normal flight, so you see it a lot of times while we are on autopilot. Uh, it'll spin a little up, a little down to maintain the level flight or climb, descent, whatever that case may be. Uh, so that's it. Pretty straightforward. It's just uh, elevator trim. We do have rudder and aileron trim as well. No electrics associated with that one, but I'll show you what they look like. If you look right back here on the back of the center console, there's the, uh, the rudder trim and there's the aileron trim. Notice they pretty much stay centered up. This one's a little bit to the right. That's uh, where it likes to be uh, to, to maintain nice coordinated flight. We don't really touch these in normal operation. We would use this one very heavy if we were to have an engine failure to fight off that yaw force uh, from having one engine failed and the other one uh, uh, forcing the airplane to turn. But uh, like I said, normal operation, those just stay right where they are. So that's it. Hope you guys learned a little something. Um, maybe I won't see that question for a little while, but uh, if it doesn't make sense, ask something. We'll, uh, we'll reshoot the video if we have to and make it uh, make sense. So uh, give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life.